to go for problem statement harmonic analysis on 3d suspension spring of a vehicle material we will use structural steel element size 1 mm and frequency range is 0 hertz to 1000 hertz we will use forced vibration so the force is 500 newton in z direction and base of a spring is constrained and we will use damping ratio is 0.25 and we will find output as frequency response deformation in z direction and we will also discuss natural frequency and forced frequency so let's go now i am in ansys workbench double click on harmonic response or you can drag it in project symmetric it will take some time my project is open now I will import geometry from my computer click on geometry and import geometry I will select my geometry from here I am using a spring my geometry is assigned and double click on model here you can see my mechanical is working so it will take some time now my ANSYS mechanical is open go in mesh and define element size 1 and element order to linear and click on generate mesh just right click on mesh and generate mesh it will generate a 3d tetra element mesh as you can see my mesh is generated now I will fix this end and apply force on this end so before this I'm going in analysis setting and here we will define the range of frequency the minimum range is 0 and maximum is 1000 after that we will change cluster result node to yes it will give the smooth curve and then we will go in damping controls and define damping ratio is 0.25 my analysis setting is done I will go in insert fix support I will fix this end bottom end of the spring and apply now I'm going to insert force I'll select this end apply instead of vector I will convert it into components and go in Z direction minus 500 Newton my force is assigned now now I will go in solution insert frequency response and deformation and click select geometry we have to select one node here and click on solve it will take time so don't panic have patience it will take more than 2 to 3 minutes as for your computer performance. Here, here my result is obtained and the maximum amplitude at the frequency of between 0 to 125 and the amplitude is 5.58.848. Here we can see 58.848. The frequency is 
67.583 this is the natural frequency sorry this is the posed frequency if the natural frequency of this spring match with this frequency then the resonance condition occurs so now we will calculate deformation insert deformation total and click on solve here we get deformation and at the frequency of 58 here the frequency range of 58 not occurs then the resonance condition will not happen and the deformation like this so thank you so much for watching if you want to know how to calculate natural frequency so comment below and i will give video on natural frequency thank you thank you so much and subscribe our channel